What's up, guys? I'm um, just doing some shooting, and uh, thought I'd give you a look at this rough and ready catch box that I made. Um, you'll have to excuse the edges of this. You guys can do a way better job of something cleaner. I just did it with my pocket knife because I don't care. Um, I, I'm pretty, I'm usually pretty OCD about stuff like that, so I normally would cut it with something better. But um, like even just an exacto knife would work. This is an old uh, cat litter container. Um, you can buy this exact type of like pail at a like home hardware or something like that for like probably like five, six bucks or something. Um, inside here, let me get a better focus. Um, inside here, I got a steel. Um, I can't remember the thickness of it. It's a couple millimeters thick. It's like, eh, I'd say it's about three millimeters, something like that. Three, four millimeters thick. Um, pretty damn durable steel. Uh, I bought it off the Wish app. Um, you could don't have to do this. Um, you could put uh, what I usually do. I've, I've posted it before. I think um, how to do it, but I, I've, I think I just put pictures. Is to take a bottle cap and I'll, I'll post a picture of how that's done. But you just melt two holes. Like if this was, if it's, you picture this is the face of a bottle cap, you'd put one here and one here. So like two o'clock and ten o'clock, if I remember that correctly. Uh, two and ten and. Uh, that way the string that you use can go through one side and then out the other side and that keeps it from twisting instead of trying to run one through here and hang it from the top because then it tends to twist like this and doesn't last as long so and then the uh, um, I got paracord run through here and I'll open up the top this is just a um, clothes peg glued to the face of that to hang targets from get this open sorry Okay, so um, you're going to make four holes, two on either side at the front and two on either side at the middle point. Back here, this is something like the bedding foam that you get. I just got a piece of it at the um, thrift store. It was like a right for a single size bed. Though I just rolled that up, the lady gave it to me for three bucks. Um, anyway, there's some tuck tape done into like if you, you know how you loop tape to stick like things together. Um, one long loop at the top and one long loop at the bottom to stick these two layers together face to face and then the ass end is two or one hold going tall wise to hold the two layers to the back of the container and uh, they reach down to the bottom but they don't reach it they, they just reach the bottom and don't create any excess material that gives it something to give it some give so it, it hits this and then has room to still to uh, dissipate more before it hits the back and you can see the back of the container is mint it hasn't taken any hits at all from the inside of the container um, and then this is just a t-shirt folded like in, in half with the sleeves in and then folded down to go over top and uh, yeah this is uh, paracord I think I mentioned and this is just like marking string you could use paracord on both spots I just decided to use a string for this because it just made it a little droopier to kind of dissipate the energy a little bit more um, Nothing else really to say except for the fact that because this has got the handle and the lid, um, what I like to use this for is um, you like to if you like to shoot in the woods like I do, and I do it pretty often, um, it sucks to shoot a bunch of shots out there and then not be able to recover any of your ammo. Like if you have a kind of a you could have like a bed sheet set up or. Um, like between two the piece two tree two trees, and you hang a, a piece of paracord between the two, and then throw a bed sheet over it, and then, and then you can hang a string across that with a, a spinner. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, it's doable, but it's just kind of a pain in the ass. And also, you can't leave it out there because your bed sheet, if it gets rained on or whatever, it gets kind of it'll get moldy and gross. So um, this is because it's got the cover on top, but it, it doesn't let no rain get inside. So your t-shirt will stay stay pretty well dry uh, for the most part. Um, your spinner, if you make it out of a bottle cap, it's not going to like degrade. You use your um, your paracord and, and stuff with your cordage. It doesn't really matter what kind you use. Use something strong because you, you want it to be able to take hits. But what I'm saying is it, it, it doesn't matter if it's mold resistant or whatever, to, um, or water resistant or anything, because it's got that lid again. So um, yeah, you can get a bunch of shots in, and then when you go to leave, you can just carry take out all your shot and... I don't know if you want to hide it or something like that from from for in the area, or if you live in you know just in an area where you've got a chunk of land and 
you'd like to shoot in, in another area, um, this is an option. And then when you want to take it somewhere, you just grab it by the handle and off you go. So I hope that wasn't too long-winded for just a, a catch box, but I just didn't want to leave anything out, I guess. Um, you guys, you were wondering like how long this one's been in here before I put this in. Uh, I think it was yesterday morning. It's taken, I don't know, 50 or 60 hits or something like that. I've just been doing like a, a mitt full of marbles, like five or ten at a time, every couple hours or something here and there when I'm bored. Just left the catch box in the back room and beat the snot out of this just to see what it would do. You can see it's got some dimples coming through there. And those are that's just with cat eye marbles for the record. I'm not shooting steel at this because I don't want any bounces. Um, and that's the other thing is um, with this, if you're going to shoot at it, you can use steel and you can even do it in the house. You will get occasional bounce outs, but for the most part, they will go into the catch box. Um, but if you use a bottle cap, uh, like I described and fill the back end of it with uh, hot glue to make it really nice and rubbery and uh, impact resistant um, it will deflect um, marbles and shot just as well or better than this and you won't break any of your marbles if you like to use marbles because this will bust marbles not every time it's not like you're like, like maybe one in every I don't know five or six marbles or something like that you'll get you'll, it'll chip one really solid and then one in every ten or something will just bust in half so you don't want if you don't want to be dealing with busted glass I don't mind I just go I have a great big garbage bin behind my house I just open up the lid um, hold on to the shirt and uh, dump out the glass the, any bits and pieces of busted marbles and then just put the lid back on and off I go so just that little tidbit if you're shooting marbles you'll want to go with the bottle cap instead of a steel spinner because um, frankly I almost I almost just flat out suggest the bottle cap because you can shoot any kind of ammo at it it'll take it all day long 3 8 steel and heavy leads and everything you want to shoot at it and it won't break um, this conversely will also take the same beating and more but you can't shoot it with marbles and you will get occasional bounce outs like maybe one in every I don't know maybe 15 or 20 shots or something will just pop it'll hit this this just kick, will kick back into the material I guess is what happens and it'll just kind of drop bounce down here and fall out or something it'll just land right outside the box um, but you won't have very many bounce outs with the with the plastic this I like using frankly because it makes a really nice loud plink I wish I could film it uh, taking a hit I don't have a camera mount right now but um, it makes a really good solid like ping when it gets when it gets mad. I don't know if you can hear that high, high pitched yeah yeah you can imagine but yeah when it takes a solid hit it makes a really good loud plink and that um, the slingshot I'm using is putting out some pretty good juice so Take care, guys. Enjoy. Peace.